I swear, bro. It's it seems like every two or three weeks there's a brand new game I need to check out. Throne and Liberty open beta. L let's just do this. Okay, it's looking like a server system. Oh no, please don't tell me I'm gonna be stuck in one server. Hopefully it's gonna be very similar to Black Desert Online system where you could just jump between servers. Anyway, let's just pick a random one. I really do not care much. Character creation. Okay, uh, let's pick a male one. I wonder if there are classes in this game. I really haven't looked at all, so I have no idea. All I know is that there was drama about it, about tab targeting or something. Okay, wait. Wow, character creation looks pretty robust. Yes. Oh, oh my god. Body type, costume costumes randomized appearances okay okay i see i see there's potential here okay i think we did a pretty good job at making a character here i didn't really like most of the men hairstyles so i just went with uh is this a clean shave or something something like that i really don't care it's probably just gonna be covered up by tons of armor it doesn't really matter do any of you guys realistically watch the cinematics i mean the cinematics i get but reading the story of an MMO, usually I just watch it from a YouTube channel after getting heavily invested into it. But wait, wait, what? I thought it was a top targeting game. What the f- how do, I, how do I play this? Oh, it's a top target. I mean, never mind. Never mind then. But it's third person? Oh, okay. I thought it was click to move. It isn't? That's interesting. I have a bow and the great sword. Okay, camera movement is slick. And graphics look hit back how okay we have some qtes too and I'm, I'm still getting used to the combat the combat seems what the hell that, that was janky the, was i the only one who saw that the fps dropped to like 30 fps weapon swap oh fuck oh f i'm using a 60 percent keyboard though oh no <laughs> using a 60 percent keyboard what the fuck am i gonna do so i could use two weapons at once that's good to know i guess is there a way to switch weapons manually oh okay you just click you just click it in the middle if you want zombies of course standard mmo procedures here then a mysterious voice awaken your wild power oh i feel like i've heard this shit like 1500 times what okay so we could transform into animals the control scheme is it's very janky i, I don't like it i honestly don't an old man oh no gandalf the gray but 50 years younger that didn't <laughs> sync with the lip syncing at all hopefully we could transform into other animals too wait is that gonna be our mounting system or something was that a dream maybe it was that was a pretty bad dream that was a pretty cringe dream if i'm being honest oh name hopefully nobody took it yet all right i'm not gonna lie the game looks pretty good oh my look at this i did not expect this at all we could jump pog instantly better than honkai star rail and zen zone zero oh oh wait we could transform into the wolf in the open world okay that's pretty cool there's a ton of weapons here could i just pick anything that i want here how do i oh equipment okay so i could pick a weapon that i want hmm let's test them all out and see what's good okay after testing out all of the weapons and their skills for like 10 minutes i think the most impressive weapons that i want to use in this game are the what you call it the wand and the staff so i'm probably gonna be a spellcaster in this game i really wanted to be a, a heavy tank but look at the anime they're just too good they're just too good to pass up right now i'm also considering the bow for more single target damage as well as using daggers for melee i don't know i can't decide you know what let's just go with the bow and the daggers i think i like the aesthetic more and i'm tired of being a mage in mmos honestly that was interesting the dwarf man transformed into this huge rock beast 
Okay, so we have a grappling hook. We, we, we have a fucking grappling hook. Oh my god. Double jump. Oh my. Oh wow. Okay. That's interesting. The controls are still pretty ass, but guess it's okay. Uh, it, it's still pretty janky. This is a lot more engaging than I realized. The the story is pretty good. I kind of thought it was gonna be ass. Okay, this is looking like a boss fight. Oh my god, look at that. That's huge. That's massive. I'm guessing this is the King Vert thing. Oh my... Wow. You know what? This looks pretty good. I thought it was gonna be your average Joe Orc. Wait, it's a 1v1? Oh no. Surely it isn't that hard, right, guys? Oh, fuck. For a tab targeting game, this is not bad. Honestly, the co action is a lot more engaging than I realized. Okay, looks like it's, it's literally just scripted for us to lose, I guess. I wasn't even half health, dude. Nice. His eyes are his weakness. Someone attack his left eye. The eyes. Oh, we have a bow. We have a bow. We literally could use it. Or we could just throw an axe, I guess. Ooh, you know what? You know what? I kinda like this game now. It took an hour to get more engaging, but I'll take it. I'll take it. It's too it's too bad that the open beta lasts for just a week. Because if it doesn't, I actually thought that it was gonna run until the release, but I guess not. It will only... Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, my God. Look at the cinematic right now. A portal. Oh, it's us. I'm guessing this is the bad guy. No! Okay, good. Wow. Oh my. You know what? I actually like this story now. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm uh, reading an MMO storyline? Actually, crazy. I'm guessing this is the game Spymon or, or something. Well, at least she isn't talking, I guess. That's a improvement. Another cinematic? Wow, this game has a lot of cinematics. And it's not cheap cinematics, though. They're very detailed. I guess this is by. We're going to the main town now. You know what? This game has very good vibes right now. Oh my god, look at this creature right here. Oh, title screen. <laughs> of course, it's the title screen. Okay, okay. Pretty good introduction to the game. I honestly expected less. What the fuck is this? I'm guessing that's... Just graphical issues. Oh, fuck. That, that, look, that looks rough. That looks rough, boys. But maybe that's just my PC. Oh, holy fuck. It looks so rough. Throw the end. You know what? You know what? Wow, that's pretty good. That was a pretty good introduction. Oh, here we go. Here are the pop-ups. Link account. Nope, not yet. Wow, look at this. So many people right now. Look at this. They have, like, different transformations. Wow, so you could change the the style? I actually kind of prefer the default wolf mode. Oh, wow, look. There's a lot of just wolves running around the world. Oh, look. It's literally just scattered around the world. These are the grapple hooks, right? Yep. One more here. Okay. You know what? I'm getting the hang of the movement in this game. I always love the first towns of MMOs. Look at that. There's so many people running around doing their quests it's just so much fun exploring the world for the first time with so many people that's definitely one of the reasons why i like playing mmos for the first time look at that oh my god there's a lot of people here there's also a book here that people are trying to get to if you guys ever played the witcher 3 then this game gives out a lot of vibes similar to that game and you know the world has a very similar feel as well even the characters kind of look the same just with the higher resolution okay it wants me to go to this place oh wait oh okay is this place accessible okay it looks like it isn't but this is pretty big for an open beta hopefully in release we get access to this place as well but the world is pretty huge for a 1.0 that's pretty exciting for the release date. 
I see people running around with this green thing right here. I wonder. Oh, wait. They're level 31. Oh, nice. You're probably going to get one of those when you're higher level. Yo, look at that. Wait, where was it at? Look. He, he changed into... Is that a chicken? A chicken of some kind? What the... What the hell? Okay, so you could change forms. Oh, wow. I could already guess that that's going to be like a cosmetic of some kind. Oh, the microtransactions are going to go crazy on this game. Or maybe not. Maybe you, you know, unlock that after playing the story. One thing I realized is the FOV. I, I kind of like the FOV. It's not too much that you feel disconnected to your character. But it's also not too like small and not too close to your character to get too immersive as an mmo because there's a certain level of you know certain level of immersiveness that you could have on an mmo i think too much immersiveness on an mmo is pretty bad so the balancing act of being too much and not being too little is pretty good in this game okay so from what i am understanding the purple quests are your main quests and there are also blue quests per area which you could complete so that you could 100 percent a specific area that's that's what i understand i think for now we're just gonna be continuing the main storyline from like the 10 minutes i've played it it's your standard mmo storyline quest you just spam through your dialogue and then sometimes they want you to kill stuff maybe i'm asking a bit too much here but i kind of wish that the wolf form kind of wish that the wolf form was uh, faster than what we're experiencing right now because it is fast it's definitely faster than being a human yeah yeah exactly but it's not that fast that you you know feel the difference it doesn't feel very MMO mount type thing. And I don't think we're going to get a mount in this game. I think the most that we're going to get is faster movement speed for our role form. Now they want me to, what is this, dig up mandrakes? Isn't that very, you know, oh, oh, it's, <laughs> I knew it. I was going to say, isn't this dangerous? Mandrakes kill you when, they're, when you hear their screams, right? That, I mean, that's what I learn from harry potter new waypoint for the new place that we're in nice we just hit level five. Oh my god it's an ambush wait was it yeah it's an ambush oh fuck wait i'm a ranged character oh no it looks like we're gonna need to use our daggers here oh thank god i thought i was gonna die there holy okay that was way too many clicks just to open a goddamn chest Look at this place right here. We're literally on top of the lighthouse. I think that's gonna be a very good stop to the video. We played exactly one hour of Throne and Liberty. And I think that's more than enough to get our first impressions out of a game. Some people might argue that one hour isn't enough to get a huge scope, a huge understanding of playing an MMO. Because first off, it's an MMO. Second off, MMOs are just literally made to be played for long periods of time but i think in our world right now if you don't grasp a person by playing your game in just one hour one hour is more than enough to make a concrete opinion about the game what's my opinion about throne and liberty first off i like the combat even though it's tab targeting i like the graphics and if i'm gonna be honest with you guys the storyline is one of the better storylines I've played in an MMO. I think I'm definitely gonna be playing this game when it releases on September. But for now, I don't want to spoil myself much. Because now that I know that the story has some good points in it. And now that I know that I am definitely gonna be playing this game. Because remember, I just played the open beta to know if I want to play the game. I think I'm gonna stop right here. But yeah, what's my overall opinion? Very, very good. Very, very good game. And I could definitely see myself playing this game for a long, long time. Anyways, I think that's gonna be it for this video right here, boys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Watch my other first impressions videos on Zenless Zone Zero and Once Human. Other than that, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace out.